Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We will carry on right where we left off last time. There, like that. Grab that one. Put you away over there. And then take the ladder and put you under here. Back a bit, there we go. And grab you. And then scramble up there, put that one in. Oop, there. And over to there. Right, so the 51, the, the 50 gallon. This would be about 40 in this one, isn't it? 40, 41. 41 gallons there. Right, task completed. Refuel the aircraft. That was easily done. Take you and put you away. And then we've got to check the undercarriage. Right, let's just dump that one out over there out of the way a minute. So next up, we've got to check the undercarriage. So wheel. Well, that one's damaged. Axle cap. That's all pristine. Have I got any other bits that I can check on here? Is it just... Um, we've got the engine cowling. There doesn't. I don't think there is anything else to check under here. I think it's just the wheel. If we go over and have a look at this wheel over here. That one's fine. Oh, hang on. Uh, axle cap, wheel. Doesn't seem to be anything else on there. We've got the axle cap. That one's also pristine. Okay. And then I come out to this side over here. And I've got the tail wheel. That's damaged as well. There's no other parts to this one. It's just the tail wheel itself. Right. So we've got to use jacks. So we need to pick this jack up here. And that one goes in there. So how does this work? That one there. Ah, right. I think I just do it like that. I don't think I do anything else to it. So I undo those. On that side, I do the same on this one. Take that bit off. And then the wheel itself can come off. There's, there is no other parts on there to come off. So that one can stay there. Does that mean I get another jack to go? No, hang on, what's this? We've got small jack here. Pick up the jack. So this one. Ah, that one goes under there. There, like that. And... Same, uh, yes, okay, that's the same as the other one. So that one will lift up like that. Lift up as high as you like. There we go. And then I can go down here onto the tail wheel, and that one's got... If I can get over to the tail, I want to I wanna come over to this side of it. You going to let me? You going to let me do this? Come out that. I just wanted to have a look at the tail coming off, that was all. And that piece comes out, and then that one, and then the whole thing pops off. Right, okay, that's fine. So that's that bit taken out there, and then you've got another jack over that side. So the big jacks are actually fairly easy to, uh, to use. You want to go into here, we've got a wheel and a tail wheel. I don't think those can be repaired, so I'm not... Well, I'm making the assumption that they can't be repaired. You should never really assume anything, though. Making assumptions does nothing but making an ass out of you and me. Did you know that? It's a little thing for you there. Um, and just for those of you who don't know, an ass is a donkey. So it's another word for a donkey. I don't know if it's used in all parts of the world, but certainly in the UK, it's another word for a donkey. Uh, we put that onto there. We put that one onto there. So we've now done all of that. Uh, I need to go round the other side. You know what, I'm going to see if we can do this without taking it off the jacks. Will it just go? Will, it, will he just take... No. <laughs> it's not going to let me do that. I've actually got to, I've, I've actually got to do this properly. Okay. Um, so lower you back down like that. And then take the jack away. Go and put you down over there somewhere. And then I've got to go and get this jack. And I've got to lower this one back down as well. Oh, no. It's nothing to do with the jacks, is it? All right, leave, leave, leave the jack where it is for a minute. Go up here. Like that. 
outer. Oh no, that's the outer one. Um, I'll put you on. It's because I've left all of the, the covers off. I've left all of the fuel caps off. You don't really want to take off with all of the fuel caps left off. Or uh, bad things are going to happen. I, you know, I'm I'm not much of a pilot, but I'm I'm pretty certain that bad bad things are going to happen if you try and take off with no caps on any of your fuel tanks. Um, like you know, bad things as in you, you you're gonna, well, just bad stuff's gonna happen. So we're gonna leave that one jack there, a minute, and let's see if that will allow us. It will allow us to do it. Refuel is done. Check the undercarriage is done. Final result, perfect job. So you are allowed to leave it up on the jacks. Okay, I like this idea. And continue career. During the flight today, I noticed small flames coming from the right engine's exhausts. Make sure it's nothing serious. Well, oh no, I was going to say, we don't have to re... But we do have to refuel. It's there in big letters. Uh, so we've got to fix the problem with flames coming out of the exhaust. Which engine? The right. Why is it always the right engine? What's wrong with the right engine? There's something seriously wrong with that right engine, isn't there? There is, there is actually a serious issue with the right engine. Curious what this issue might be. Okay, let's scramble up here a minute. And we want to remove you... And then that one, and then I want to remove you. And you know what? See, it says left wing over here, so that is, it is a fair indication that we've got the right engine. With the right engine on this one over this side. It's, it, it's a pretty strong argument in favour of this being the right engine over here on the right wing. Um, so yes, it's, it's just worth keeping that in mind. Right, scramble back up here and drop that one into there. And then we go over this way. And wow, that's got to be more than 100 gallons. You sit here and wait for it. To, at least it's doing it fairly quickly. And you see how quick it does pump that stuff through. So you don't have to wait for absolutely ages. And now that we're sort of getting used to doing this, it does look like this process is a little bit faster than... Yeah, I did take it. Uh, it's a little bit faster than the process of rearming the machine guns on the Spitfire, which I'm quite pleased about. It's got to be said, I am quite pleased about this. So let's go and grab you over there, and then we scramble up the ladder and put the hose into there like that. And back over here, and then this is going to be 45 gallons into the 54-gallon tank, I'm guessing. Uh, ooh, 47 gallons in there. Right, and then back up, grab the hose. It's just a space bar is all you've got to press. So it's it's actually really quick to, like, the game re the game does at least register it pretty fast, which is very, very strongly in its favor. So we go over here, looking up that way, space on there, and then press space bar again, and then jump down, and it's all ready to go. So we can just undo that one like that. Then you've got to sit and you've got to wait for it to pump out a hundred gallons of petrol into the tank, which doesn't take very long. It's only just a, a few seconds, actually. Uh, I would guess to make that we're doing about 105 gallons into there, maybe a little bit more. So then you go like that and space again and then like that. So that bit's done. Grab the ladder and then over here, back up a bit like that. And then we go for the last run. So scramble up there and put that one in. And then race back round over here. And we go for another 47 gallons into this tank right here. And that's that job done. 45, 6, 48 gallons in that tank. Definitely 48. So space on there and then space again. And then jump and then I press space bar on there. And it's done. It's, it's literally, it's, it's finished already. So I can take the ladder and I can throw that one away over there. And then if I go like that, I'll right click. I'm going to press number two. I'm going to bring that one up like that. Right. And then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. And then I'll come back over here and pop that one back on and that one back on. And then we'll go over to the other wing and we'll do the same over there. Then we've got to have a look at this exhaust and find out just what is going on. Why has it got flames coming out of the exhaust? 
I don't know what would cause that. Um, is that anything to do with like oil getting into the engine? I'm not a I'm, I'm not an engine person. As many of you know, I'm not much of an engine person. So I don't know why we would have flames coming out of anything. I, I haven't got a clue. Uh, so I'll take that. Flames coming out of here. I'm going to guess that it's something to do... Well, probably not the cooling system. Uh, fuel not coming through right. Fuel not burning. Fuel not burning. Right, what's that there? Fuel not burning correctly. Would be my first immediate guess. Got a wheel case in there. That's pristine. The the magneto. Th this is all looking pretty good. That's that's looking good there. Um, see, I've got a uh, hydraulic pump in there. That's that's looking spectacular. Coolant tank is fine. I've got the rocker covers, the cylinder blocks. Flames, 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 flames. Why would you get flames? I would hazard a guess that flames coming out has got to be something to do with um uh, what would it be yeah i i would say it's got to be something to do with like the fuel not burning properly and then it's catching fire afterwards would that be it so if the fuel's not burning properly that indicates ooh we've worked on these engines before we know these engines this would indicate that perhaps it might be either the like the, the fuel mixture is going in wrong, or maybe it's something to do with the I don't know, maybe the engine block itself. The, the spark plugs not working. Could it be the spark plugs? Let's take off that exhaust shroud off of there, and I'll take that one off there as well, like that. Source manifold needs to come off of there. Um, right. So we've got exhaust manifolds on here. Let's let's go to check mode a minute and see what else we can find. So I'm having a look in here, and we've now got bonuses that will allow us to see if spark plugs are in good condition. Uh, I want to have a look under here. Spark plugs look to be in good condition. Cylinder head. Cylinder block. I can't imagine anything else there. Um, coolant. Take all of these. Uh, and I, uh, I'll go with everything that I can. I'll check everything. Exhaust manifold over there. This is... All right. So I had to stop and cough and splutter for a minute, but I've just noticed we've got some rockers over here that are damaged. So that's a strong indication that we've found just what the problem is. I'm going to remove this exhaust manifold over this side a minute, just so that I can get a closer look. Because I also want to just check the spark plugs on the outside here, just to see if it's them. And there's no sign that it's the spark plugs out here, so let's just go with the rocker mechanism all the way down there. I'll remove that one like that there. And then I've got that rocker there and that one up there. I don't think there's any others. It's just those two. This side over here, they're pristine. It's just these two. All right, we got that one there. And it's quite good that th those two valves there. It's quite good that you can see them, um, like that, that they show up damaged. That they show as being damaged when you go and look at them. All right, let's find out if this was the bits that we wanted. Because if I just put those two back in and they're all that the problem is, it will say complete. Alvin, task complete. Excellent. Right, so now we can just very quickly throw everything back together like this. Put those on there. And put that rocker mechanism back on. Like that. And then the exhaust shroud. Onto there like that. Um, do the other one over here. 
There we go. And put the rocker cover back on. Like that. And then put that one on over there. And we can start putting all the guards back on the outsides. Something else that we've got to take off or put on. Nothing at all. Well, we've actually got to wait for them all to do up before I can start putting the covers back on. I've just got this one cover up here and then the ones on each side. It's a shame that you've got to wait for everything to do up before you can put it back together. It's taking a minute or two to get through that. There we go. Put that one on. Like that. And then drop down to the side and we do that one there. I'd really like for like the, the screwdriver, just the overlay bit, just to be slightly bigger as an upgrade. It would make it easier for when you're going through. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. The fact that I've only got to press and hold the mouse button in order to be able to do this instead of like in Car Mechanic where you've got to click each individual bolt is absolutely wondrous. I mean, it, it really is. To, to, to have to do all of these individually as uh, bolts, that would... That would take a painful amount of time. But anyway, there is another job done. So let's just go over here out of the way and we can turn that bad boy in. Excellent. There we go. Refuel the aircraft. Job done. Fix the problem with the flames from the right engine exhausts. Final job. A final result. Perfect job. Another 30 points. Thank you very much. Let's continue our career. And next on the list, we were testing the bird's max speed capabilities on our last mission. We must have boiled the coolant. Make sure there's enough of it for the next flight. Okay. Uh, I wonder how much coolant he's gotten rid of. We'll find out. Uh, oh, of course, there's two engines worth of coolant in here as well, isn't there? So we're likely to have to replace quite a bit of the stuff. Let's get the good old, what do we call it, the fuel... We get that done first, so I want to go there, back up, just like that, climb up here, and we'll get all of the caps taken off first. So I was told, actually, you know that we've got this one up here, the fuselage fuel, uh, that's for long-range flights. So there's like, I, I think it's extra fuel for long range flying so I'm not sure that we'll actually be using that one on um, on this here well I've, I've got absolutely no idea we may be using it we may not be I don't actually know so we'll it be something that we will find out right we'll come off of there and we'll grab that one and then we'll leap back up here and we'll put that in there and we will keep going. Ooh, okay, we've got a full 100 gallons that we're going to be putting into here. It's a 115-gallon tank. So uh, the, in, the two inside ones, 115 gallons goes into those. So uh, we're putting in, yeah, about 110 gallons altogether. Lots and lots. That's all we need to know is we're putting in lots and lots. So we run back up and grab that and put you back up there. Then I can go, oops, right. This, this is the bit. It's getting the ladder. They have at least made it so that it's easy to get to the ladder. I think to start with, there were people were having issues getting up the ladder. Uh, but there's something that they've now fixed, which is good. These guys do seem to pay attention to detail. So we put that one in there. Incidentally, we're about 80% of the way through the game now. Um, or at least 80% of the way through the missions. Once they eventually add in more planes, I don't know if they're going to add them to kind of this mission list that we're doing, or if it's going to be like a free play mode or something like that. At the moment, I don't really have very much idea, but we'll keep a close eye on it and we'll see what happens. And then... We'll see what we want to do a little bit um, a little bit later on. At the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to have that. Whoa, easy, sir. E easy, son. Easy. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to have that many more weeks of content on here. Maybe a couple weeks. Uh, something like that. Maybe a couple weeks, I would guess. Once we've done the the content that is available at the moment obviously we will take a break and then we'll go and find another game to play and 
Yo, this is our simulator title here, so I will replace this with another simulator title if I can. Uh, right. <laughs> Didn't like that, did it? Didn't like that at all. Can I get down? Right, I can get down over here, so let me try and grab this ladder. There, take the ladder. And if I back up a little bit, maybe that's the answer. There, right, now climb back up. That's more like it, right. So if you have the ladder in the wrong place, strange things happen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to need another simulator title to look at. Uh, I know that we've got Tank Mechanic Simulator, and I've got like the, the basics of that one, and it is being updated and it's being worked on, so that's kind, that is probably my top priority as a replacement game for this one, especially as more updates are slowly coming out. They're, they're doing a load... Like they have done absolutely loads and loads of bug fixes on that at the moment, and so what, the bit that I did in the stream has been hugely improved upon. It's, I'm guessing, going to make a massive difference to it. Um, so it could be that that's what we go for. We we could decide that um, doing the tank mechanic simulator for a little while is actually the game to go and play because of all the updates that they've done. And the improvements they've made to it all. Right, we'll do that there. And then I'll do that there. And that one. There. That one over there. And then we'll go back through and we'll do these. So there's one. And two. And three. Right, so we've done the fuel bit. Next up, we've got to do the coolant, and that, I think, is there, isn't it? I need to press number one. Yeah, coolant access door. So I want to open that one and take off that. Yep, that's coming off. Take off that coolant cap, and then I want to do the same on this one. There should only be two lots of coolant. So if I jump down here a minute, we'll take the ladder and we'll put that one over here somewhere. There we go. That'll do nicely. And how much coolant are we going to need? We've got, a, we've got a lot of cans of the stuff. So I'm assuming that we could be using quite a bit. It said it burnt... Oh, dear. When they said they burned the coolant, they weren't kidding, were they? Right. Fill that one up. And, ah, okay. Well, I'll cope with that. Well, let's go and put this one down and we'll get a fresh can. Throw you down there a minute, and then we'll go and get the ladder. We'll put that one over this side. Uh, somewhere. There, that'll do. Right. Grab another can of coolant. Hopefully this one will be about the same. So it's, it's not masses and masses of coolant. It is a little bit, but it's not too much. Just going to be a nice, simple, easy job just for us to finish off this one. Uh, that's much the same, really. It's the other one. Actually, I think this has even got a little bit less needed than the last one had. So put that into there, like that. Job done. Right. Now, I'll run you down here. Doesn't matter where I leave it. I can work as messily as I like, apparently. There's, there is no penalty for doing that. I'll stay over here and wait until the cap has been put on, and then we'll close that one down, like that. There, and then we can... Move over to this side and put that one on and then close that down. And then we get another job. This, So far, we've had fairly basic jobs with doing this one. Whether we'll get something significantly bigger, I'm not really sure. We can leave the ladder right where it is as well. Apparently, we don't need to move that. They can just drive over it and splinter it into little pieces as they leave. So, refuel the aircraft 5.3, fuel coolant 5 points. Final result, perfect job, 30 points. That gives us 40 more points towards becoming a flight sergeant. We've only got 689 points to go. Are you sure you check that coolant? The engines keep overheating. In any case, make sure it will work tomorrow. Refuel and fix the problem with the coolant temperature. Right, it did say on one of the forums that by the time we get done with this bomber, 
we are going to be absolutely sick to death of the refueling process on the bombers. I don't think they were lying on that. I think we are going to be absolutely thoroughly fed up with doing this little job. It's because it takes so long. You've got four of them to do. And this is worse than the... Um, like, reloading the guns, at least that one... You know, it had the ability to, like, get faster and faster and faster. This doesn't really seem to have the ability to get faster as you get better at it. Because most of it is waiting for the fuel over here to actually fill the tanks. And they don't seem to be coming back with half a tank. They seem to be emptying the tanks right out completely. And then we've just got to stand around like lemons, reloading the whole lot. And this is the bit that is... I think this is the bit that annoys people with this. Uh, let's move back to there, right? And then we can get the get that one. And then we go up again, and we put that one in. Because, yeah, it's the inside engines. They're the ones. Look, see? All the way down. So now we've just got to sit here and wait while it puts in the 100, um, 100 gallons. This is the bit that I think is frustrating people on forums. Um, at least from what I can see in, the, in comments and feedback and so on. Um, I mean, overall, it's a very well-made game. And the attention to detail is absolutely spot on. There's, there is a huge amount of attention to detail on here. And there's, like, small things with, like, the calibrating of the guns and things like that, which are done very realistically, which is really good. And so there's a lot of little things like that that people really like. Uh, but like this bit here, despite the fact that this is also done realistically, it's... It's... You know that sort of sweet spot between realism and faster, more convenient gameplay? This one is slightly missing the sweet spot and hitting towards too much realism. That's it. That seems to be the issue with the complaint, is that... That sweet spot has been slightly missed with this refueling malarkey right here. Let's just go and grab that over there. I mean, th there's going to be plenty of people that think the refueling here is absolutely fine. And there's no issues with it whatsoever. And, you know, they, they quite like that it's got this uh, absolute realism on it. But me, personally, I would rather something that was a little bit faster. At, at least just change the tank so they fill up that fast. You know, I, I'm not quite so fussed about having to do it the four times. I, you know, I can live with that because that's how it is. That's, that's what the, the plane is like. But if it was altered so that you could just move that, you know, put that fuel in ever so slightly faster, I think that would make a bit of a difference. Right, let's go to you right there. And we'll go to that one over there. And then we can pop that one on. And then we can come back and we can pop that one on. And then we're going to do the same over this side. I'll put that one in there. And I'll pop oop, there, that one into there. And then I can do that. And I can do that. So if we're boiling the coolant off, we haven't actually been told to refill the coolant. But I suspect that we've got a problem with the radiator under here. So let's just go to number... Okay. That one's fine. This one here is not, though. So it's the coolant radiator in here that we need to replace. So we undo that one, and we do that like that. That takes out the radiator, and then we go over this way, and we get a new one like that. There we go. Then we can come back over, and we can pop that one back into place there. So we drop you in there. And put that one onto the bottom. Hmm. Fix the problem with the coolant tank. I'm really sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there as it's time for us to head back to the barracks and get some tea. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.